Hey y'all, I'm outside today and today I want to discuss chickens and how you should be dealing with them or how we deal with them when we start to have temperatures over 100 degrees for multiple days and weeks. A lot of people think that's normal for, for Texas because they picture us all living in the desert with cactus and cowboy hats and cowboy boots. And while a lot of people here do have cowboy hats and cowboy boots, um, there's no cactus in my yard and it's not a desert. That's far west Texas. Think El Paso, out towards Mexico. You know, over 800 miles from where I currently live. So anyway, yes, it does get hot here. Yes, this is normal. But we have a lot of people moving here from other states and they're um, shocked, to say the least, about how hot it is here, especially with our humidity levels. We can have 100% humidity, you know, average 75% humidity. So 100 degrees Fahrenheit here in Texas feels quite a bit different than say 100 degrees in a dry climate like Arizona. I know because I've spent a lot of time in those other states and it's just a different heat. It just feels worse when you've got such a high humidity level. But anyway, they start to worry about their animals and their, this specifically their chickens. Now chickens are not dogs. They um, are a completely different makeup than, than a dog. So this video isn't about how to care for your dog in 100 degree temperatures. This video is how to care for your chickens which are used to living outside. They are birds. So the way we care for them is not going to be the same as you would say care for your dogs or your cats. Now chickens have three vital needs. That is food, water, and ventilation. If, you, if you're keeping your chickens cooped up all day long, um, their needs are going to be different than my chickens that free range all day long and only go into their coop at night. Now if you look behind me right here, you'll see that our coop is built so that when the heat rises, it comes out the vents at the top which have hardware cloth around them so no predators can get into them. But the heat rises and it comes out the top. So that is where their ventilation comes in. This part right here is a fenced in area until I wake up and go let them out, then they can run around there. And it's almost all hard work cloth and chicken wire. So again, they have lots of ventilation. And then we'll talk about their water, which is this blue barrel right here, this 55 gallon drum. But anyway, so food, water, and ventilation. Um, shade, shade is important. So this time of day, my chickens like to hang out under my house because my house is a pier and beam house it's built up on cinder blocks and they will go up under there and just lay around for a lot of the day but they also do have there's a metal roof on this part of the chicken run and they don't ever really go in this part till night but on this part there is a metal roof that they you know they have shade all over the place they can get under the outdoor shower which is right there there's a lot of places they can go to get shade um, as far as their food, we don't give them anything special. If you want to give your chickens cold watermelon or cold, you know, any kind of melon or whatever it is, you guys, cold peas. I know there's a lot of people, some people are, give, are giving them ice and ice water. We don't do any of those special things here. We don't find them to be necessary. It's just one of those more bougie, bougie, how do you say it, Ashley? Bougie? One of those more bougie type chicken owner things. And we just, we just treat our chickens like the animals that they are. They are not mis, they are not, they are not mistreated, but they are also not completely pampered. However, today and some days they do get pampered when they get a treat like this grub terra here, which is the black soldier fly larva. They love this stuff. They'll eat it out of my hand. Watch this. They can't get enough of it. This isn't their normal diet. This isn't even something they would get every day. 
they normally eat scratch and layer pellets. But as far as uh, treat healthy treats go, these grub terror worms are a favorite. Every pound of this is equal to 20 pounds of food waste that is saved from landfills. And while we're not exactly tree huggers around here, we do care about our environment. We do care about not wasting, and we do care about helping in whatever little ways that we can. Now, I've shown you their water system before, but I, for the new people, I'm gonna show you again. So this is their water system. It's a 55 gallon drum. Get the leaves off here, full of water that I clean out about once a year. It goes down into this little pan here. And when it gets dirty, I just have to kinda dump it out and let it fill back up on its own. So they always have fresh water available. Here's the ventilation I was talking about on the chicken coop. And when we're not getting enough rain to keep the rain barrel full for their water, we just bring the water hose over here from the well and we fill it back up to make sure that they never run out of water because that is very important. And as I said earlier, they do go under the outdoor shower for shade and to look for bugs and whatever else might be under there. It's a favorite place of theirs for some reason. But as you can see, they really, really, really like the grub terra. Although the bag scares them. Eat it all up before the ants do, bud. Ladies. It's gonna be good for when you guys actually are laying eggs. It's gonna make your eggshell stronger. Yeah. And you're, it's gonna make your feathers nicer. Oops, sorry, I moved the bag again. Here you go. There's some more. Okay, well, y'all enjoy your snack. I'm going to go finish this video. So anyway, that's all there is to caring for chickens in extremely hot weather. Just food, water, ventilation, shade, some healthy snacks, and they'll be fine. So if you're interested in buying the Grub Terra snacks for your chickens or some snacks for your dogs because they do sell other things, you can go to GrubTerra.com. I'll put a link down below. And if you use the code GRUB10, you will get 10% off of your order. Thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't already, please subscribe.